As members of the Archdiocese of Vancouver, we're blessed to live in a beautiful and culturally diverse area. From Vancouver to the Fraser Valley, we share a common sense of strength and unity in the growth of our Archdiocese. We are followers of Christ, called to bear the light in times of doubt as well as in times of joy. It is when we respond to the call to build the church and serve those truly in need that our inner light shines most brightly. Project Advance is an instrument to help us um, see stewardship as central to our lives as uh, believers. It uh, identifies certain high priority needs that we have as a, as a local community. Needs which offer us so many opportunities uh, to be generous, to respond, to think in our own lives how God has been good to us and how we in turn are called to offer that same goodness, that same light to others. The Lord has been generous with us and to share in his generosity is truly a blessing for each one of us. Project Advance 2010 will continue to assist in the growth and development of our flourishing and growing Christian community. Project Advance will provide assistance to specific groups who are challenged in their work of caring for those less fortunate or for those who may not be able to care for themselves. It is our duty as followers of Christ to bear the light so that those who are most in need may experience the light and love of Christ through our generosity and works of charity. Thanks to you, each year brings renewed hope for the many ministries that Project Advance supports. One of the most important needs of our Archdiocese in its continuous growth is the upgrades required to our secondary schools. If we're to continue enriching the youth of our diocese, who are truly the future of our church, it's important that we provide them with safe, secure, and up-to-date educational facilities. The newly reconstructed Notre Dame Regional Secondary is expected to be fully operational later this year. The New Sites Fund is reducing the deficit incurred from the purchase of land for future schools and parishes. Sancta Maria House is a strong, Catholic, Christ-centered 12-step recovery program for women seeking freedom from drug or alcohol abuse. The aging facility requires assistance with kitchen renovations. Catholic Charities provide support and resources to parishes developing outreach initiatives as well as programs for seniors, provides resources to strengthen families, reduce poverty, and build communities, especially for those whose basic needs are most neglected the homeless, refugees, the mentally and physically challenged. Domestic Abuse Services is replacing the roof and installing furnaces at Eva's House, a second stage safe house for women and children experiencing domestic violence. Eva's House is operated under the auspices of the CWL. It is unfortunate that women sometimes reach a point in their lives where they feel their only option is to abandon their babies leaving them to face serious and sometimes fatal consequences. Through St. Paul's Hospital, there is now a choice for mothers who feel they have no other option but to give up their newborns. Within Vancouver, we've had uh, cases as recent as last year. The most concerning are those uh, cases where they are actually abandoned outside the hospital um, in areas where they're really subject to bad weather and conditions that can compromise the baby's chance for survival. It is a anonymous location uh, outside the emergency department where a woman can leave her newborn baby without having to ask, answer questions. Um, the baby is left in a secure spot where the hospital personnel are immediately aware of its presence and can take the baby and provide any necessary medical care and uh, more importantly provide for its long-term security and uh, its needs. Womb BC is improving the presentation technology used by certified instructors to present sessions on natural family planning in parishes and in marriage preparation courses across the Archdiocese. Kateri Tekakwitha First Nations Center 
is a diocesan outreach encouraging Christian community. Among First Nations peoples, Kateri Center offers faith enrichment as well as a healing center for addictions. The center requires assistance with structural repairs. In response to the directives of a synod, diocesan outreach assists the Archdiocese of Vancouver in its work of evangelization, including maintenance and operation of the Archdiocesan website. Youth ministry empowers young people to live as disciples of Christ in our world today by fostering total personal and spiritual growth and by encouraging participation in the life, mission, and work of the Catholic faith community. VanSpec offers catechetical instruction to special needs children, particularly those with autism, and to adults challenged by intellectual or specific learning disabilities. We bring Ramon to VanSpec because um, he has autism and he's going to learn about God, learn to love God, and experience God in his life. We would encourage parents of other special needs children to take part and you'll see the joy that the teachers and the children get in the VanSpec program. We would like to uh, let people know that our son and our other children with special needs are capable of knowing God and loving God and we have to make sure that they partake in that love. Bearing the light of Christ and the transmission of the faith is the goal of every parent and teacher at VanSpec as well as the sisters who work here. I think that the VanSpec program's beauty is those that help with the project advance, it belongs to the diocese, it's a grassroots program. And we thank everyone from Project Advance that help us bear the light and help the children themselves carry the light in their own ministry and in their own life. The Parish Rebate Program continues to help the parishes of our Archdiocese meet the demands of the growing community. Once each parish has reached its diocesan goal, thanks to your generous gifts, the attention is focused on its own needs. Each parish has its own character, a certain charm, a sense of history, a sense of community. Whether your church is in need of minor improvements or a major renovation, whether building a new church or upgrading an older one, the Parish Rebate Program assists every parish to address its individual needs. The Lord asks us to bear our light to the world, not to hide our light under bushel baskets, but to proclaim His goodness through our works. And when He gives us a share in His light and life, He asks us to give and to share that life and that light with others, to be bearers of His message, bearers of His light, to a world which is so often dark and confused. Your witness of His grace, your witness to His generosity, is the greatest possible gift that you can give to the community. I thank you for receiving that grace and for bearing that grace, that light, and that life to those around you. May God, who is gracious and loving, a father who takes care of his children, shed his light upon you. May Almighty God bless you and your families today and all the days of your life. Let your light shine for all the world to see the brightness of your life within the peace that sets you free. Let your Sorry.